Ida's Special Delivery It was summertime on the island of Sodor, and lots of holiday makers were coming to the island. The trains were being really busy every day while they were getting their work done. Freight trains do their job by carrying freight cars of where they need to go. One day, Dwee, Sam, and Lauren were on their way to the shunting yard. They had to deliver some freight cars of special products for the grocery store. They pulled in just in time. Just then, a new engine they have never seen before came in. She didn't want to be shy. She was big and yellow, just like Dwee. Hello, big engine. What's your name? I'm Dwee, said Dwee. My name is Ida, said the woman engine. I'm pulling freight cars today. She was very proud. Nice to meet you, Ida, Dwee said. Then came something. I've got a gift for you three, and it's not a train, but I think you're going to like it. I'm a woman train, and my name is Dwee, said Dwee. I'm really useful. Say hi to my sister, Hernada, Ida said. Hello, my name's Hernada. Nice to meet you, said Dwee. Then Mr. Cakester arrived. Now then, you five, he said, I would like you to help Mency with the freight train and race it down to Vickerstown today. Yes, sir. That's a good idea, said Dwee. Now, starting today, Mr. Cakester said, I would like you all to be on your best behavior while Becky is away on a vacation. Yes, sir, they said. And they steamed out of the yard. Chugga 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 choo choo! The five engines said, Woman train's coming through! Before long, Mency was in the yard. She was getting ready. I'm gonna be your trailing unit today, Hernada, she said. That's a good idea, Mency, Hernada said. Before long, Hernada buffered up her to Mency, and they steamed into the countryside. Here we go, the women engine said. Gender cars coming through. It was a long train. Before long, Ida, Dwee, Lauren, and Sam were buffered up to their freight cars, and they steamed onto the Northeast Corridor. Here we go, Ida said. Meanwhile, Hernada and Nancy were enjoying themselves with their freight train. It had 59 cars and two engines, and it was a long train. Becky is off island, said Dwee. Us trailing units are useful, said Lauren. She went to the mainland to the United States to collect a goods train. That's an important job, Sam said. We can carry on, said Lauren. The Northeast Corridor goes from Boston to Washington, D.C., Ida said. It sure does, Ida, Dwee said. And they steamed down the line. Hmm? I'm sorry. 104 cars coming through, they said. A few minutes later, Hernada and Mency arrived in the desert. It was really hot. 
Then there was trouble. A road train was crossing the tracks with hazardous materials. And Hernada was fast approaching. Her driver saw the truck and applied the emergency brakes. But it was too late! Ida saw all the goods train and she applied her emergency brakes. But it was too late also! <sighs> Fire raged and the train derailed! The derailment was getting catastrophic and fire was raging and the freight cars turned onto their side and so did the engines. When Quinn saw the accident, she was surprised. I can't believe there's such a wreck, said Quinn. Luckily, no one was hurt. But Ida had turned onto her side and was feeling sore. And Hernada had turned onto her side also, but Mency remained upright. The building had been destroyed and it was a bank. The next day, Ida, Dwee, Lauren, and Sam were repaired and Alexia arrived at the sheds to see how they were doing. How's it going, Alexia? I'm doing good, thank you, Dwee, said Alexia. But I'm glad to meet her na. I'm glad to meet Ida. I'm glad to meet you too, said Dwee to Ida. Next time I have a derailment, she said, I will know to call for help all every time. Alexia smiled and Ida steamed out of the shed to collect her woman train.